Hello everyone, my name is Mohit Kumar Jha and roll number is 20MT30018 and this is my project for DIY assignment. So for this purpose I have designed a solar tracker. A solar tracker is a device which changes its position according to position of the sun. And we can use it with something like solar panel so that it always points in direction of sun. So for this purpose I have used photo register which is a device which changes its resistance according to the light falling on it. And a servo motor which is basically our actuator and is used to uh, point the solar panel or anything connected to it in the direction of sun so that we get maximum efficiency so let's go ahead and see the circuit so for this purpose uh, these are the set of five photo at this point in different direction so what will happen is that uh, suppose sun is in a particular orientation suppose here so uh, it will get direct sunlight and hence most of the it will most of the sunlight will fall on this resistor and this and its resistance will be minimum whereas the other ones will get slightly lesser sunlight and hence the resistance would be slightly more and hence the we can detect the position of our sun and we can then point our actual uh, our motor in the direction of sun using the arduino board so first of all uh, I have connected the positive terminal of this breadboard to the 5 volt supply and the negative terminal is connected to the ground. Now I have used a register in the circuit to limit the current and now I have connected this register to the positive terminal and then it is connected in series with our photo register which is connected to the negative terminal. And now uh, the value of potential of these four pins is taken as the analog signal and since this is a variable resistance the signal will change accordingly as the resistance of this photo resistor decreases so if it decreases so if we decrease the resistance of the photo resistor the uh, potential of these four points will also decrease and hence we will see a change in the signal so uh, and this a0 a1 a2 these are analog pins and are used to take analog signals uh, whereas these are the digital pins so uh, now we come to servo motor for servo motor there is three pins one is the power pin and ground pin it is used to give power supply to the motor and this is the signal and the third one is signal pin and this is used to give signal to the motor as to what it has to do now we go ahead and see what is there in the code so i have written this code in the blocks oh, okay so first of all i have uh, assigned five variables uh, which takes input from the five analog pins here and now this is the algorithm to find out which pin is actually has the minimum resistance so, so we can suppose number the pins like one two three four five so that uh, we we know which pin has the minimum value so what will what it will do is that finally in the variable p it will provide us with a value as to which pin has the minimum resistance so that we can uh, then find out the position of the sun and point our motor in that direction and after we have uh, found out the position of the uh, i mean after we have find out the resistance we will just have to point our servo motor in that direction so we can see here is that uh, they are all separated by an angle of 30 degrees so this is 1 into 30 this is 2 into 30 and this is 3 into 30 4 into 30 5 into 30 so uh, we can see that we can use the index number to actually find out the angle by which we have to rotate our servo motor so in the last line of the code here uh, we have just uh, used that index number and multiplied it with 30 degree so that we can point our motor in that direction and then in the last uh, uh, and then uh, this is the uh, print line to see if our uh, code is working correctly now we will run the simulation and see how it goes so suppose this will receive maximum resistance so what what will happen is that see the this will rotate in that direction and now suppose we decrease this value and increase it to maximum see it rotated a bit more in the 
60 degree from vertical and now if suppose we decrease it uh, we decrease it a bit and decrease it a bit and now just increase it to full uh, see we it is perpendicular to the vertical and we can see that points in the direction of the photoregister so in this way uh, it will always change the position of the motor according to the direction of the sun so, and this is the this was the working and now i will just go ahead and uh, download the code now we just have to open So this is the code here we can see the uh, variables used and then this is the setup uh, of the pins here and uh, in this void loop we can see that uh, we have taken the values and then this is the algorithm to find out the minimum and then we just have to write this uh, value uh, multiply this angle by 30 degree and just write it in the servo motor so that servo motor points in that direction and we will just go ahead and compile it and see that it has successfully compiled okay so here we have go, uh, seen that it is successfully compiled so this was it for my DOI assignment thank you